Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Journey with Akash. So friends, in this video, we'll be solving another React Machine coding question. So friends, if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you for your all love and support. Okay. So now let's have a look at the question that we are going to solve. So you have to create one input box and let's say we are typing the name and we are clicking on add button. Let's add few names first. Cool. So as you can see, whatever name we are typing on this input in this input box and after clicking on add, it's the names are getting added into this particular list. That is a master team along with two buttons that are add and delete. Now, now when we click on these particular, you know, button, add button. So now this, uh, the name from this list is getting added into this another list that is a playing 11 list. Okay. You can understand that uh, in our Indian team, uh, we have like 15 to 18 members, right? Uh, which are substitutes in which we have But we have 11 members, right? Playing 11. So in that way, you have to make two teams. Uh, one will be the master team in which you can add your players. And from that particular team, basically list, you can add those players into the another list. Okay, something like this. Basically, the interview wants to check the command on your CRUD functionalities. How good you are. So friends, I hope the question is clear to you all. Now, now before moving ahead, I have a small announcement that if you are preparing for your upcoming interviews, printed interviews, so you can connect with me for any tips and tricks over this link, particular this link. Okay. And plus also I'm nominated for a top mid creator award i don't know what it is but aap log kya kar sakte ho yahan pe ja ke vote kar sakte ho bina login kare aap vote kar sakte ho theek hai if you are going to vote theek hai aap five votes kar sakte ho and after five votes uh, you can like claim your discount as well 10% off something like this theek hai so things apart let's jump into coding theek hai so friends ye humne simple sa ek project setup kiya hai yahan pe code sandbox ke andar theek hai uh, this is React plus TypeScript because um, we are going to use a little bit TS also in this uh, video. Okay, so let's begin. So as we can see, you can see that we have an input box and two lists. So let's create one HTML first. Okay, uh, we don't need any CSS, so you can remove the CSS. Now let's have a look. Let's remove this class name as well. And we need input box first. So let's create one input box. Something like this. We don't need the braces as well. Okay. We can also give the name if you want, like players, and we can add a placeholder. Enter name. Apart from this, uh, what we can do is uh, okay. So this is the small input box that we have created. Along with this, if you can see, we need a button as well. So I'm going to create one button quickly. So this is the button. Now, now uh, in order to make it a control component, we need one state also. So let's create a state that is name, comma set name, use state. Okay, and the type of this state will be string. And default value will be empty string. Okay, something like this. Now, one more thing. Let's come over here and let's bind this to our input box. This particular state. Cool. One more thing we can do is over here add one on change. Like the operation that we want to perform on on change will be simply set a name. Set a state that is set name. And we are going to set the event dot target dot value, the value that we are going to get while we are typing, something like this. So one more thing that we need to do is uh, we will be needing one handle click as well. So let's create the handle click, something like this. Okay, and over here on click we can attach it over here something like this handle click okay so i hope 
थिंग्स आर क्लियर सो फार ठीक है देखते हैं इसमें लिखा जा रहा है नहीं लिखा जा रहा ठीक है कुल नाउ नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू ओके सो एज वी हैव सीन ओ हेयर वी हैव टू क्रिएट टू लिस्ट सो इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट दोज टू लिस्ट लिस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कीप द थिंग सिंपल सो लाइक द ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच दैट्स कमिंग इन टू माई माइंड इज टू क्रिएट टू स्टेट सेट प्लेयर्स एंड यूज स्टेट ठीक है समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड आई विल इट्स अ लिस्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव इट द एम टी आर ए एज अ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू एंड इट विल बी स्ट्रिंग एर ए ठीक है एंड सिमिलरली वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन हैव अनदर लिस्ट फॉर फाइनल प्लेयर्स सेट फाइनल प्लेयर्स ठीक है ओके समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द अप्रोच दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक एंड इट इज गोइंग टू इट इज गोन बी लाइक स्ट्रिंग एर ए बेसिकली एरे ऑफ नेम्स सो समथिंग लाइक दिस आकाश कॉमा विराट ओके समथिंग लाइक दिस लेट्स अंडू इट नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट दिस हैंडल क्लिक ओ आई हेयर वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी सिंपली नीड टू डू इज सेट प्लेयर्स एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेट दैट इज प्रीवियस स्टेट ओ हेयर एंड ओ आई हेयर वॉट वी कैन डू इज रिटर्न वी हैव टू कीप द previous state intact and we have to add the new value that is going to be named something like this and uh, cool so this is what we have to do on clicking the handle click whatever name that we have you know added into this particular state over here we have to simply add this into our list let's see if this is working okay so it will work but it's not going to be like um visible because we have not added the ui for the list so let's quickly create the list ui so here what we can say is the master team will go here uh let's give it a heading like h1 and say master team something like this okay and over here let's have the ul an order list and inside this what we can do is we can simply traverse on players dot map something like this and here comma index okay and we can return the list so it will be simple list nothing much fancy okay and i'm going to use a span tag over here to render the name here plus we all can see that we have to create these two buttons add and delete so we are going to quickly create those two button buttons as well button 1 button 2 add and delete okay so for now let's remove these functions let's keep it as well okay cool one more thing uh let's have a look if this is working or not cool as you can see things are getting added right okay so we have we have found one bug over here but we will take care of that later so now now the next step will be what will be the next step one more thing that we can take care of over here is that we can add a length check over here that if players dot length is greater than 0 okay then do this l simply do like no players added something like this we can do okay now let's clear let's write the functionality for like adding and deleting to the final list okay so before do uh, okay so before moving ahead uh, let's first take care of uh, this bug only okay or else we will miss it so the bug is that the similar value is getting added again and again so for that what we can do is we can simply do something like this that if players dot index of name okay if it already exists then simply return cool so 
let's have a look okay so as we can see on clicking it again and again it's not getting added one more thing that we need to do is like when we are clicking on add we simply need to like clear the set name so when we click uh, let's refresh it let's add name cool it's getting clear now let's quickly create two functions i'm going to copy this let's clear the inner content and let's rename these functions handle add click and handle delete click something like this so friends uh, on clicking this particular add button we need to add the this particular name into another list so what we can do is once again uh, over here let's add the handle add click and handle delete click something like this cool and and another thing that we are going to do is we need to pass some arguments so to this we are going to pass the element and to this also we can pass the element what basically this particular element we are passing plus we can add the key property over here in so that react can handle the uniqueness cool and inside this handle click uh, let's say the value we are getting and the type of the value will be string because we have string array similarly over here also we are going to get the value and the type will be string something like this now what we can do is i am again going to do is same logic we can add over here that is we have to update the final player list so i am going to make use of the second form of state that is previous state and over here simply return the new array the modified one keeping the previous state as intact comma value and adding the new state something like this okay and inside this handle delete what we can do is uh, let's first get the players uh, basically the current state that we are in final players okay we are not directly modifying the final players we are first creating one creating one copy now modified players equal what we can do is players dot filter we can create one new array and we can filter out the player that we want to delete if it is not equal equals to the value good now uh, what will happen is we have to set the final players as well so set the final players uh, okay so friends while you are working or while you are like even if you are giving the interview uh, try to like um, final players list try to like use proper naming convention okay uh, it all this also creates a good impression cool so we have successfully created two functions now let's create another list so nothing fancy we are going to simply copy paste final list cool so we can do this final team something like this and over here final players dot length is greater than 0 and uh, what is final players okay and over here i think yeah we don't need this these buttons okay so we can remove them cool so our code is ready now now let's try to have a look okay if i'm adding virat adding this over here cool let's say sachin adding this over here now let's try to add this over here add this over here cool so things are working okay uh, let's try to add okay so once again we have left a bug so for that we can have the simple code over here like if final players dot index of value something like this cool so now let's try to rerun this and let's try to add the details virat dhoni sachin okay so now uh, let's add them cool things are getting added now let's try to delete yes 
things are getting deleted as well. Cool. So friends, as we can see, we have created this simple functionality. Okay. So this was the question that was asked in one of the front end interview. Okay. And I hope the code is clear. The explanation is clear and the question is also clear to you all. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Okay. And if you have liked the video, then also you can show your love in the comment section. Okay. So friends, if you have liked the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll be meeting in another video with another question. Thank you. Bye-bye.